Hello and welcome to part two of my Serie A review of the upcoming season jerseys. It's kind of a review preview. And today we're going to get in some really, really big teams. Uh, we'll have Fiorentina, we have Inter, we have Juventus, and we have Lazio. So uh, four of the biggest teams in all of Italy. And I'm wearing, of course, Fiorentina, which is my latest uh, Serie A jersey. Um, that also added another color to my collection. I'm very happy with that one. And the Fiorentina was always a team that I had big sympathy for, as with most of the Italian teams. Uh, of course, there are exceptions. Inter, anyone? And the Juventus of late just bugs the hell out of me uh, by just winning, 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 winning. Although I am not against Juve per se. It's just, if you win too much, you just drop in my personal standings. But let's get right to it, because I can lose a lot of time talking about Serie A, probably I will. We'll start with the Fiorentina, and this was the 17-18 jersey, this is the 18-19 version by Le Coq Sportif. And if you've seen my France preview, you already will recognize this template from Saint-Étienne. It's a very classic looking style. Um, I wonder why they don't have a sponsor, maybe they... If it says like this, this is more like a, more or less like a polo shirt. And I would love to have a sponsorless Fiorentina shirt. Uh, if it's a sponsor, I, ju I just think it will be also one line, so this wouldn't make much of a difference. But I like the classic look of this, which maybe a little bit too much of a polo look. And uh, yeah, I think they even tried to make it just looking one way. My only gripe with it is it's maybe a little bit too boring because it's just all purple. It looks 60s, 70s style, but not in the best way for that. Uh, yeah, I want to give it eight stars because uh, it's just such a classic look, but I think it could be better. And what I don't like about it, but I'm not rating this here, is that it will be worn with black shorts. Yes, it's a classic look for Fiorentina. I just like my Fiorentina in all purple. And then they do the th same thing as last year. They issue four alternates. And yes, it is a little bit of a cash grab, but here they have actually a good reason for that because there are four historic quarters of... Florence, which also played the uh, culture Fiorentino, a very brutal sport, a little bit more like rugby American football, but they claim it's one of the precursors of soccer that we know. And yeah, I was at the Fiorentino fan store last year and they have them all there. And my wife was trying to tell me, yeah, the blue one looks nice, the red one looks nice. I said, I will need the purple one. My first Fiorentino shirt has to be a purple one. And then she agreed the purple is nice. And of course, my um, daughter, the older one, loves that I have a purple shirt. She's very, very happy with that one. So we run through the four jerseys. They have all the same uh, design. And we'll start with the green one from San Giovanni. Uh, Krune collar. And then you have the purple striping on the other side. And other than that, it's very plain. So we have green one for San Giovanni, then we have Santa Croce, the blue one, then we have the red one, uh, which is for Santa Maria Novella, and then San, Santo Spirito is the white one. Uh, of those four, I think the white and the red make the most sense because they're also club colors. Of course, the blue and the green, um, yeah, they are for me the gimmick jerseys. Um, you don't see the purple striping as well on the blue and on the green as it's on the red and especially on, on the white. I think they contrast a little bit nicer. Um, so I'm going to give the blue and the green, although it's the same jersey, I want to give them six and the other two are sevens. I really like the idea behind it. It's just, um, yeah, it's a little bit uh, too much. All of them eventually I would like to have, although if I'm honest, I would like to have all this from this collection, but you know, soccer jerseys are unfortunately not that cheap. Then we go to the first, I mean, Italy, Fiorentina is for me a part of the top seven in Italy uh, of when you consider big teams, but then there's a clear top three. These are the two Milan clubs and Juventus, of course, they have won the most titles and we get to the first Milan club, Inter. And... Although Inter is the team I love to hate, together with Bayern, um, I can appreciate a good Inter jersey. And unfortunately, this one has some touches of a great Inter jersey. 
but then they're really on the bottom, although uh, they try to do something really cool here. But let's get, this is of course a Nike uh, jersey. We have the new Nike template. We have the classic black and blue stripes um, for the Nerazzurri, of course. I really like the one, the classic Pirelli sponsor. Um, although Milan was founded by the AC Milan, was founded by, or at present was I think the Pirelli grandfather. Now Pirelli is associated solely with Inter. I mean, Inter is born out of AC Milan, so, you know, there's always something there. But uh, that is a calm combination that I just cannot imagine anything else. Uh, with that crest nicely placed, and if it would just the stripes going through all the way, this would be a perfect Inter jersey. Maybe add some striping on the sides. What bugs me is, and I know that Inter has this, is always associated with the grass snake, um, which is kind of another symbol for Milan, and they try to get the scales in there in the on the bottom of the jersey to create kind of a scaly pattern. But it also creates a fade. And that's what bothered, what's what bothered me. I really like the thing, uh, but pull it all the, all the way up and don't let, 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 it, let it go that dark. Uh, Milan, two seasons ago, also had this fade and I didn't like it and I don't like it here either. Um, for that reason, if it would go all stripes down, I might give this a 10, but with this uh, fade, I have to go seven. I'm sorry. And this is, I'm taking all my inter hatred out of that. This is just uh, objective assessment. If the straps were there, this is a perfect jersey. With the scales, I like the touch, but it just isn't executed well. And pulls down the jersey for me. Also, I still cannot get over the fact that we have uh, a sponsor on the back the same pattern is repeated. Yeah, then the away jersey uh, tries to do the same, but here it looks much better. First of all, I like that the color is split into blue and black uh, on one side. The sponsor is uh, interestingly in blue and the swoosh is in black, so you have the team's colors there, and then you have the scaly pattern all over. Uh, makes for an in interesting uh, way to look at. The scaly pattern is of course um, repeated on the back and what I really like is the, on the back side that you have the snake. The collar is split, you have the taping again, splitting the collar in half and then you have the snake which is kind of the old Inter logo. I really love that one and for that reason I'm gonna give this a full nine stars. This is really well done, playing with the club's colors, playing with the image, very nice jersey. Nine stars. On to the defending champions, uh, seven-time defending champions. I hope they don't make it eight. Someone please stop Juventus. I cannot take it anymore. But now they have Ronaldo. And yeah, things. Um, this Juve jersey, I don't, I really don't like because it has those, the bold striping and then this block with Jeep across, which yeah, creates this H on front and I know there have been UV fans trying to make it that there's not this block but there's just an outline as they had this pre previously. Um, and what's worse on, on the back, what's worse that's on the back, uh, the pattern is inward so you have one center black stripe and the rest is uh, white and just the number and the name make up the rest. And do I need to start about the new Juventus logo? I mean meanwhile everyone is kind of used to it. I still can't take it. I still cannot take it. There is something there, but it's not much. I give this a five star. This is an underwhelming Juventus shirt. Then the away jersey. Um, yeah, we have the white with a little bit of black as, as a home jersey. So the away jersey will make a white jersey. Great thinking, Juventus. Uh, but it's white with a little bit uh, gray. It actually looks more like a Real Madrid jersey. Maybe they want to make Ronaldo welcome. By the way, have you seen uh, the instructions of how to make a Real Madrid jersey in a Juventus jersey so that you can keep your Ronaldo jersey? If not, look it up on the internet. Um, this one looks classy, but I just don't see the reason for having it. Uh, this would be a great time that you bring back either a blue or a yellow. No, you're gonna go with white. Boring. It looks good, so I give it a six. It looks nice, but it's just a... Nah. Five, also five because of the uselessness of it. It doesn't provide contrast to the home jersey. What's a lot of contrast is, of course, the third jersey, and that I guess we will see a lot. Um, 
black with some pattern on there that actually reminds me more of the Nike sleeves uh, and then some neon yellow uh, you know we have a monochromatic grass but it's anyway monochromatic so uh, that doesn't bother me this one looks the best of them and I still don't like it it's a, yeah even on the back you have the yellow numbers <sighs> five this is a disappointing event to set. They had a really nice kit last year and even the year before. Uh, yeah, previous years they had nice in the entry set, but this one is disappointing. I just gotta give this a five, even the font I don't like. Another last one is Lazio, and who is this a great kit? They had something similar as a third kit, but I'm glad they make this as a home, home kit. This is a classic late 70s, early 80s style Lazio kit uh, with light blue bottom, then you have uh, white on top, and then you have the Eagle logo, which is the old Lazio logo. And it also goes on, on, on the sleeves. I love this one. And I assume there will be a sponsor, which I hope will go below the Eagle, although this would be riding a little bit low. But yes, I like Roma a lot more than Lazio, hence Lazio is another team that I'm not too uh, favor, but this is a really nice little group kit. I would love to have that one. Honestly, I would love to have that one. Uh, even the on, on, on the back, the pattern of the wings really con continues and then frames the numbers. This is really nice. And then the uh, light blue collar. Great, great effort. And of course, it's Macron. Macron, I uh, said it in the previous part one for Bologna and Calais, they really make great jerseys flat. They, are, they, they, they have slowly become my favorite uh, manufacturer. I'm going to give this a 10. This is a 10, it's perfect. It's Lazio should wear this forever. And I know we like a lot, it's like, but Lazio should wear this forever, hands down. And then I only have the third jersey for Lazio, and that's also a great effort by Macron copying a template that the Puma had in their championship season. But Pumas, I think, didn't extend all the way through, it had a gap here. Uh, so it's black and then you have the light blue chest band that also goes onto the sleeves and the collar is pretty much the same as Puma had back then. <laughs> so it's interesting. Um, I'm not sure if they had to pay a piece. Also looks nice. Not as perfect as the home shirt, but I would give this a 9. Even with the sponsor, this is a 9. Maybe the golden here, but it also connects nicely to the crest. Lazio has really nice sets. What? Juventus has bad, a bad set, Lazio has, ha ha has a perfect set. Really nice jerseys. There are hardly any bad Lazio jerseys, I have to say as well. Well, that concludes part two of my Serie A preview. We're getting to part three. And there is my favorite team. I hope you liked this video. If you did so, give me a thumbs up. Please let, let me know anything uh, about the, what you think about these jerseys. Whether you agree, disagree with me, uh, whether I'm completely off, whether I'm spot on. I would love to hear that from you. Also, um, if you want to see more of these, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.